Hello all. <sighs> Hair's a mess. Can't, it's too windy to wear a hat. Uh, cold, wintry day. So, we're out with the umbrella. Probably going to get some rain before we're finished. Let's head on out. See what's happening today. In the wilds of the Bay Area. So, is the world leaders taking their eyes off the ball? Are they ignoring what's so important and piddling around with little shit that they feel all pumped up over? Well, the world is uh, preoccupied with things like the U.S. is beginning its next regime change here in Venezuela, South America. While they're busy doing that and causing everybody else's eyes to be there, the Himalayas are melting much faster than previously thought. They're saying that one third of all the ice in the Himalayas will be gone by 2100. This will affect eight different countries' water supply. In other words, there's a major water shortage coming to the countries that have the Alps in them that rely on the water for drinking. I think, personally, even though this is a peer-reviewed study, once again, I still think 2100's too late. I think all the ice will be gone by 2100. That's just my own personal belief on all the science that I'm seeing. But according to this report, it's quite a ways off before we see all the ice go away in the mountains. So the 1.5C uh, maximum we were supposed to do with CO2, I think is too little too late, and I don't think there's a chance in hell that we'll ever meet that. One point nine billion people rely on the Himalayan water supply. Another thing that's getting people's uh, attention a lot is this polar vo vortex. Every time someone says polar vo vortex, 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 they uh, people just oh gotta listen to that, which is important and all, but it's taking our eyes kind of kind of off the ball. We need to be well anyway. Let's go over to another subject. Over here in the U.S., while it's so important for the EPA and other environmental agencies to be watching the ball, the White House itself, the staffers, are saying they're genuinely terrified of the orange man and what he's doing. They say that the U.S. is going for a money grab, that they're going to try and grab all the resources around the world, and that this will turn the world into a major war. Just what the world needs, more war. Then this morning I heard talk about, is the U.S. going to go to war with Russia? That would be an unwinnable war on either side. And if you think that the Democrats and the Republicans are going to help us get out of this mess, they're not. There is no such thing as a difference between the Democrats and the Republicans in the big picture. They're all corporatist, right-wing, crap, grab-the-money-and-go uh, politicians. I have to admit there are some that are uh, looking like they're going to try and do something, like Cortez, but even she, uh, as I knew she would, is running up against a bunch of uh, old-timers that are saying, Medicare for all? Universal health care? Or college debt relief? I I'm hearing it over and over. <laughs> That's not practical. <laughs> it's just not practical. Of course it isn't if you're going to use all the money for the giveaways to the wealthy and the corporate elite. And guess who's giving it to them? Yeah, the Democrats and Republicans. But yet, we as U.S.ans keep voting the same people in. They're all looking at Biden and Hillary as the next candidates for the Democrats. Is anybody, would anybody on this channel vote for a Hillary or a Biden in 2020? Neither would I. And I hope they're not expecting us to, because we're just not going to.
unfortunately people aren't really paying attention to what's going on and you know there's just so many new apps on the phone and so many other things to do that makes you feel better why would you want to pay attention to any of this crap it's just a few on both sides the left and the right and some in the middle that are only paying attention but that's okay because it's only them that makes a difference anyway they're the ones that decide who wins and who loses so who cares about what the sheeple are doing they never count anyway just too busy on the phone So the question is, do we completely fall in line with the science which shows that the dangerous warming won't be here for another 50 to 20 years and the deadly warming won't be here for 100 years? Do we take that approach and then try and fix everything, which I think is a good approach. We just, uh, you know, turned over to a less carbon footprint and we started working on population control I mean just could you imagine if we go to war with Russia and the death count there would be just one bomb no matter where you drop it so many humans that you're gonna hit somebody and dropping thousands or even millions of bombs and the military industrial complex just doing their thing and the storm is coming in and I think I better head back It's really coming in. So, yep, I can see very dark black clouds coming. So, I will quickly head to where I can at least get to some shelter of some sort. <laughs> and I definitely appreciate all your comments and the ups and downs. And let me know what you think. Whose science do we take? Peer reviewed or gloomer science? Or doomer science, I'm sorry. I think it's somewhere in between, but that's just my own feeling. The science says it's quite a ways away yet, and we do have time to fix things. Though, I doubt, boy, look at that coming in. All right, we're gone. Till next time.